Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Blue Crew and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you apply for jobs through Blue Crew? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna apply for jobs through Blue Crew, the app anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're a freelancer and you're looking to pick up an extra shift or two through Blue Crew. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Blue Crew app. It's this blue and white one here on the top left. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm gonna go ahead and open my Blue Crew app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened my Blue Crew app. This is the home screen. Here on the home screen, it's gonna show you different jobs that are available in your area. So you can see there's three right here. If you wanna see the map version, scroll down until you see more jobs. Okay, so here you're gonna see all the different jobs in your area. So you just wanna scroll through and then look for one that kinda of applies to you and your experience. So here it's gonna let you know what type of job it is. So this is a warehouse associate, the paper hour and then also the assignment type so this one they're asking for 168 shifts so it's going to go from may 13th all the way until january 1st it also lets you know the approximate schedule so 9 30 to 7 in the evening so once you found one that kind of fits your work experience go ahead and just click on it okay so here it's going to give more information about the particular job it does let you know the requirements so this one requires forklift or machinery operation also you need to confirm these things so if all that looks good to you and it looks like you do qualify for for this particular job scroll down and click apply for this job okay so once again they're going to confirm the schedule so this one's from 12 until 8 40 at night so if that looks okay to you go ahead and click on yes apply for this job okay so now they're going to take you through a number of steps to make sure that you qualify and that you agree to the employment offer so i'm going to click on next down here okay so here is an intro video to blue crew go ahead and watch that and then click on next Okay, so the first step is done, and then we're gonna have to go through eight different items in order to apply for this job. So we're finished with one of eight items. I'm gonna click on next. Okay, so here is a video on policies and expectations. So watch this and then click on next. Okay, now they're asking a few questions in order to qualify for the job. Okay, so now they're asking you to watch this video about your profile photo. I'm gonna click on next. Okay, so they're asking what happens if you don't have a profile photo, so I'm gonna click here. Okay, so now this is a video about short notice cancellations for your job. I'm gonna click next. Okay, here's a video about tracking your time. Okay, here's a video about your job assignments. Okay, now they're asking what are good values about a crew member, so I'm gonna click all of above. Okay, here's a video about policies and expectations. I'm gonna click next. Okay, now we're done with the second one, so I'm gonna click on safety training. All right, it's a video about safety and emergency contact, so they're asking for someone to contact if you have an emergency on the job site, so I'm gonna enter this in off screen. Okay, so I entered my emergency contact. I'm gonna click on employment information. All right, so are you a veteran? Do you receive SNAP? Are you subject to guard? Punishments and next. Okay, so these are going to be nine different questions. All right, now they're asking if you received any benefits over the past year. Okay, what is your gender? All right, what is your ethnicity? Okay, here's a conditional job offer you have to read and then agree to that and then click next. Okay, employment information. So they're asking for my first name, last name, address, social security number. Okay, so now they're asking for employment information, including your date of birth and social security number, along with your contact information. I'm going to enter that in off screen. Okay, now they're letting me know they're going to do a background check so I'm going to agree here and then scroll to the bottom okay now they're asking for my tax information so your filing status and then if you want to claim dependents or any adjustments so I'm going to fill that in off screen okay now they're asking me to sign off on my w4 okay for some reason the signing functions not working so I'm going to come back to that let me click on done okay next we're going to go on to employment eligibility okay you can't do that until you finish the employment information so I'm going to come back to that and then the employer themselves they have a couple of job requirements so they they say that I need closed toe shoes next and then steel toes shoes I'm not gonna bring those okay this is something to do with required breaks so I've read that and click on next okay as I was filling it out this popped up saying this isn't a good fit for me and that might have something to do with the steel toed boots because I said no to that so if you don't qualify for whatever reason their standards are you're gonna get this pop up here so we can go ahead and just continue on to apply for another job by clicking on find another job okay so now it brings me back here and then as you can see that job has now been removed from my list. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to apply for a job in the Blue Crew app, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.